as I make a video like this today, I'm thinking about everybody right now that's tired, struggling, exhausted. They work two to three jobs, putting food on the table for their kids. Some are, lots are struggling with depression, anxiety, even suicidal thoughts. Tons have served our veterans, you know. Man, oh man, taxing the poor. The middle class is taking a, a huge hit, y'all. A huge hit, man. It's bad, y'all. And I tell y'all, we're winning in November. 2024, change is coming, y'all. Change is coming. Now, now just to, I'm going to try to brighten y'all day up, man. I know y'all want a good laugh and a good smile. And that's what we need in these corrupt evil sickening times man last day to file <laughs> for real i'm serious y'all i just I'm, you know and y'all know what's crazy you got you got to monday y'all <laughs> sunday night at 12 o'clock <laughs> you should have seen me last night and the reason i'm making this video as well to y'all i just Filed my taxes. Uh, just filed them, y'all. You know? And it was bad, you know? Uh, I'm not going to go into full detail, but you should have seen them reports. Oh, fella was lying. Fella was making up stuff. Um, I said I paid more when I paid my insurance. I paid more when I went out to eat. <laughs> Even right now, this shirt got written off. I wrote this shirt off. I wrote everything off. Yeah, uh, and, and and I can't wait to this this upcoming year. All the the Trump hats and mega hats we even sent out on the channel. Oh, I can't wait to write all that off. That's a YouTube expense. This is why I tell y'all: reach out to me. Don't be afraid. We are sending out hats every single day. Some of y'all got y'all hats today. I see my emails blowing up, and I can't even. And right now, you scammers need to stop. We, I'm, I'm getting fake sponsorships. People are sending me um, fake addresses to send. Like the same person wanted me to send a Trump uh, mega hats to four different locations. It was a complete scam. So I'm um, sorry to some of y'all that I haven't gotten to reach back out to. I've been getting hit with a lot of scams in my email. And good thing we we have surpassed over 600 hats y'all we've sent we're gonna send be sending out tons of hats but man oh buddy look at the comments and this title is biden's iris targets the middle class report so we're going to get into this this uh this clip we're going to show on the channel um it's very important but look at a lot of people saying vote trump vote trump vote trump trump 2024 you know 21 trillion in 2018 34 trillion in 2024 more than doubled in six years. What the America? <laughs> this is bad, y'all. You should have seen me last night lying. Oh, I was lying, y'all. I was lying, you know. Because being an entrepreneur, you owe the IRS. Y'all know, I do YouTube and stuff like that. I've had my own businesses. I've you know, did the, the selling clothes. I've done all kind of stuff. So I owe the IRS because I'm not, you know, with a W-2, they're not taking anything out or anything. It's just when you do the 1099 route, you got to come up with all kind of shit. Oh, boy. Uh, I got an EV credit, you know, and come to find out I didn't get the full 7,500 because my vehicle had to be uh some with twenty five thousand dollars i don't know it was man when you do your taxes y'all it is so much <sighs> shout out to my family that you know they they work at tax firms and, and know the rules and know this and that because you have to be on point man you know i know some of y'all done rigged it up amen keep rigging it up man i ain't gonna snitch on you some of y'all done lied these they following your taxes comment down below if you lied comment <laughs> Rick, that's tax. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. I didn't lie. I, I I reported everything just right, and um, you know, I 
I paid the IRS. I paid Uncle Sam, Uncle Tim, Uncle John. You know, they came in here. They bust the door down. They didn't even knock. They took my refrigerator. They took my stove. I just put up a new flat screen TV on the wall. I got it mounted up and everything. They snatched that off the wall too. So disclaimer, I did pay the IRS. I did not do any fraud, fraudulent stuff. Um, I didn't lie on my taxes at all. Uh, I was just joking at the beginning of the video. I was just joking. This was just for a comedy, a humor set for YouTube. I, I, you, I, I, I didn't, I didn't lie, y'all. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I filed my taxes, and um, instead of on one thousands, well, I paid it. I paid it. I paid it. Well, maybe I, I. I I got it down to a couple hundred and then come to find out I actually owed them this and I paid that so I didn't lie on my taxes y'all I didn't lie I didn't lie I didn't make up a uh, 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 fake receipt I didn't make up uh, fake things that I didn't pay for I put on there everything I paid for I, I, I did everything that was written off with, within my business Within my YouTube scenery, I did everything just as the IRS wanted me to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I hope y'all are doing the same and that you um, don't go on and lie and co commit tax fraud because we are not frauders. Oh, wow. Let's check this clip out, man. The middle class is getting hit hard, man. Again, salute to all my hard workers out there, to the ones that make the ultimate sacrifice, to the ones that are battling and struggling right now. I love y'all, man, and that's one reason why I'm making this video. You know, so drop a like, subscribe if you're new here. I bring y'all these videos for a reason, man, to brighten up your day. And quite frankly, a lot of us are going through the exact same thing. We feel the exact same way. We're getting hit the exact same way. I don't care how much money you can make. I don't care what you own. I don't care about no materialistic item. I don't care about the ins and outs. I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life. I don't care what your skin color is. We don't see color. I don't care how tall, how short, how big, how skinny. I don't care what your age is. I'm wishing the best in all you beautiful people's life, man. Y'all spread that love because you never know what somebody is going through. You never know what somebody's going through, man. And quite frankly, right now, we are living in times where it is, it's just insanity, man. It's crazy. Some people don't even care if they wake up tomorrow. That's how bad things have gotten. That's how bad things have gotten. They don't even care if they don't want to wake up tomorrow. People have died chasing the American dream and are still dropping out like flies right now as we speak. Let's check this out, man. Oh, welcome to the program that analyzes the week that was and helps position you for the week ahead. I'm Maria Bartiromo. Taxes are front and center on Capitol Hill as we near April 15th on Monday. Republicans are fighting to keep the Trump tax cuts in place that are set to expire next year. House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Jason Smith warning the removal of these cuts will hit the middle class hard. Congress must act soon to prevent what will be the largest tax hike in history on workers, families, farmers, and small businesses. Middle income earners will be hit the hardest. We will see even more closed for business signs up. If the law is not extended, Americans can expect to pay anywhere between one to 4% more in personal taxes. As That's ridiculous, you guys. Jimmy just worked his butt off. Melissa just worked her tail off, you know, for a whole month. So let's say she made, you know, $7,000. She would owe the IRS three, three, three to four. That's ridiculous. Some of y'all going to say, Rick, it's about, she's going to owe about a thousand or two, two, two. man. But looking at this, the way the way America's going, man, that's crazy, you guys.
You make somebody that's made a million, they have to pay three hundred thousand dollars for. I'm look like in twenty twenty six, it's gonna be four four hundred four hundred thousand. I still don't understand who made that up, man. Who made up? Where did Uncle Sam come from? You know. You telling me I just bust my butt? I just worked my my body to 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 pieces. My mental health is not there. I'm tired. And now I got to owe you something? I will never understand that, y'all. Never. Never. I will never understand that. You know? I will never understand that. You know, you go to the store, you're taxed. You go get something to eat, you're taxed. You know, you buy anything, you're taxed. Pretty soon, you, just to get up and walk outside and go to the park or get a walk or jog in, you're taxed. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous, man. Taxing the poor, man. Taxing the poor... And things are just increasing in price. Inflation. It's just ridiculous. This is why I tell y'all, man, you some of y'all going to you just going you're going to have to lie on that tax on when you're filing. You're just, and I I don't mean to say that. But some of y'all are just going to have to 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 rig it up so that you can survive. You know? I know y'all be juggling that thing. Some of y'all laughing right now because you know you lied this year. Some of y'all lied. And some of y'all be uh, happy if it, if it doesn't meet the uh, the IRS th threshold. If you did a side gig or, or you know, just for example, like um, doing Uber Eats or door or side hustle, door dashing or um, dropping off packages or something. And if you didn't meet the threshold... Tons of people are not reporting that if they didn't if they didn't receive a 1099. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And and right now in today's age, everybody has to have a side hustle. Unless they're, you know, retired or, you know. Everybody right now in today's time have a side hustle. People are working two to three jobs. 80 hours, 90 hours a week, 100 hours a week look like. The minimum the minimum hour uh the, the minimum hours is going to be 60 from 40 to 60. People don't even have time to spend with their loved ones. It's ridiculous, man. As Democrats continue to claim that the 2017 cuts only benefit the wealthy. The life cycle of this governing goes as follows. Cut taxes for special interests, the top 1%, and then take away basic benefits for middle-income Americans. Democrats, we saw the corporate tax cut giveaway for what it was, a scam. And while the Democrats claim that they are looking out for the middle class, we're getting a new watchdog report which shows 63% of the IRS's recent audits targeted taxpayers with an income of less than $200,000 a year. Joining me now is House Ways and Means Committee member, Florida Congressman Greg Stubbe. Congressman, good to see you. Thanks very much. Like I tell y'all, we didn't. I, I didn't lie. I was just joking. Yeah, but hey, they if they come get you. They come get you. <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. Being here, yeah, your reaction. You. Yeah, this week we had a hearing in ways that kind of went through all of these issues and how important these tax cuts are. We had two small business owners that talked about how detrimental uh, to their businesses. If these tax cuts are to expire next year, it would have they would have to cut employees. They would yep. have to make sizable. They wouldn't be able to invest in capital. They'd have to make sizable reductions uh, in, in all of the type of purchases that they make to be successful. Uh, that's like a 43 percent increase on taxes on small businesses in our country. And that means jobs. 
jobs, Maria. I mean, people work for these small businesses, and if these tax cuts don't get uh, reauthorized and get reinstituted, a 43% tax increase on a small business means people are going to lose their jobs, and they're not going to be as successful and be able to hire people and increase investment in their businesses. Yeah, and what's the I was just going to mention that next, you guys. It's it's gonna get it's gonna get nasty, man. Things have to change, y'all. Things have to change. Look at look what look at look at look at this. Look at this report under Trump. Look at this report under Trump. I don't even have to read it out loud. It it, it talks for itself. these audits for people making two hundred thousand dollars or less yeah we said that republicans said that when uh joe biden pushed through the eighty thousand uh new mm -hmm. new irs workers we knew that right. they were going to go after small businesses we knew they were going to go after low and middle income people and now you're seeing the results of that and uh, we tried to carve some of that back but the expenditure was already made when the democrats had control and here we are Oh, wow. OK. And then there's this just out on Friday. The Biden administration announced new details on their plans to cancel additional student loan debt. The president now is looking to wipe out nearly seven and a half billion dollars more. That brings Can I get an email, please? I haven't got my email yet, y'all. And I just paid my student loans last week. I owe a couple more thousand. Can I get the email that that uh, the rest of that? Uh, what? Uh, I think I. I had owed like 15, I got it down to like seven or eight, no, eight, eight. But you know, that interest, damn that interest, man. And if you miss, well, there was one month where I forgot and that interest on that payment, it shot up like an extra $200. Y'all comment down below if that happened to you. And y'all know I love being transparent with y'all. You feel me? I love being transparent. I don't care about sharing numbers. So uh, yeah, you know, um, again, I went on a football scholarship, but my scholarship only covered 70%, no, yes, 60%, but at a private institution, it's just sky high, you know, and I only went for two years because that's when COVID hit and I came back home, you know, and tried to figure out how I can start my own business and do my own stuff with YouTube and just, you know, figure things out, man, because that was ridiculous. Still ain't got my student loan, uh, uh, forgiveness cancellation email. Comment down below if you got one. It's ridiculous. The grand total of student uh, debt forgiveness to $153 billion. Florida, one of the 18 states suing Biden over this latest bailout plan. Here's how Governor Ron DeSantis responded earlier in the week. What he's proposing illegally, he doesn't have the authority to do it, is to basically say, you know, if you're a truck driver, you didn't go to college, you don't have student debt, sorry, you're going to have to pony up uh, to pay the student loans of somebody, you know, who maybe got a degree in sociology or something and is not gainfully employed and can't afford the loans. Congressman, how does the president get away with canceling all of this student loan debt despite the Supreme Court deeming it unconstitutional? Yeah, this is a complete election ploy to try to get young people to try to vote for them. They know mm -hmm. it's completely unconstitutional because the last attempt that they had at this, the U.S. Supreme Court said it was unconstitutional. It's completely unconstitutional. And thankfully, we have states and our attorney general in, in the state of Florida filing a lawsuit on Florida's behalf because states have to start standing up against the complete unconstitutional actions of this administration. And I'm glad to see that Florida is doing that. We'll be successful in the end. But I think what the hope of the Biden administration is, is not before they dole out billions of dollars to people for quote unquote uh, student loan forgiveness. It's completely unconstitutional. It completely usurps the congressional mandate where Congress, if, if that is to be the law of the land, that's something that should pass Congress. He knows that even Democrats aren't all going to vote for that because it's so controversial. Um, and yet it's not stopping them from attempting to dole out billions of dollars in student loan debt re, uh, repayment, despite the fact that they know it's unconstitutional. Well, in an environment where we still have hotter than expected inflation, we had the consumer price index out earlier in the week showing that prices are still elevated. You know, uh, go by. Holy, holy moly, buddy. 
from 2021 to 2024. Oh my God. Look at this inflation chart, y'all. And this is what is regular eating on, on, on a daily basis. Eggs, bread, steak, chicken, flour, butter. A steak up 28% year over year, bread up 20 plus percent. Uh, this is all because of all of the stimulus and this student loan debt forgiveness is just more stimulus. So $7 trillion later, we still have inflation where it is. Do you think the administration or your colleagues understand the impact of all of this stimulus on the debt now $36 trillion? Yeah, the Democrats certainly don't. They think that the continuing to spending and give these handouts to uh, people will encourage them to vote for them in the upcoming <laughs> November election. But if you look at the numbers, I've only been in Congress for six years, three terms. When I got elected, the debt was 21 trillion. We are now over 34, 34 trillion. 34. We have programs that we're spending more money on interest on the debt now than we are on defense spending. These are huge numbers, Maria, that we have to get under control. Mm. Washington has a spending problem. I got elected to come out out here and, and fight against the spending in Washington. The American people see that and adding trillions more on the, the already inflationary economy is the direction opposite of what we should be going. We should be cutting spending. And all of this is because yeah. of the decisions that the Democrats made. The trillions that they have dumped on the economy has caused this inflationary um, environment that we are in and then dumping more billions of dollars on student loan repayment would further increase inflation. And yet you all are now talking about another spending package, sending money to Ukraine while still uh, not securing. Now hopefully I can hopefully I can. Uh, again, y'all, I'm, I'm knocking out that student loan payment. Uh, hopefully by the in the next couple of months, like I said, I've been throwing extra on it every single week, you know, extra on it every single week. You know, and there was at one point I even got a I got a side hustle just to throw on, you know, extra. So comment down below your student loans have. You know, have you gotten uh, an email saying uh, it's cancellation, it's forgiven? Comment down below. You know, I see some of y'all in the in the last video. You were saying, "Oh, Rick, I paid the ten thousand. I paid." Somebody said they paid a hundred thousand in the last was it fifteen years, and they wiped it out. So, hey, blessings to you and your family. You know, whatever you got your degree or master in, but. Yeah, it's insane, y'all. From the border, Fox has confirmed that an Afghan national on the terrorist watch list is now in DHS custody after being caught and released twice while crossing into America. DHA Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas finally admitting this week that the situation at the border is a crisis. And at the same time, Joe Biden is hinting at an executive order to tighten up ports of entry by the end of April. Your home state of Florida feeling the financial burden of this. A new report estimates health care for illegal migrants cost the state more than $500 million in just the last six months last year. So this is not just a national security issue. This is an economic issue as well, Congressman, isn't it? And it's an economic issue at all levels of government. It's an economic issue at your local counties that are paying money. Like in Sarasota County, we have a, a hospital that gets $50 million in taxpayer dollars for needy care. So if an individual, an illegal immigrant, shows up at the ER at Sarasota Memorial Hospital, they're required under law to treat them. And our tax dollars in Sarasota County are paying for that. Same at the state level for needy care, same at the federal level. So you have multiple levels of government that are spending money on this illegal immigration crisis. And it's not just health care, it's schools. I mean, these people show up that have children and they have children that they enter into the school system. The school system, by federal law, is not allowed to ask them if they're here legally or not. So they're entered into our school system, which is a drain and a push on our school boards and our school districts for more money to be able to spend on this. So to, to be able to try to calculate the millions and hundreds of millions, well, it's probably billions of dollars of taxpayer costs just in Florida on this illegal immigration crisis on top of allowing terrorism into our country, on top of allowing criminals into our country. I had a constituent in my district that was a illegal immigrant. This was all caused by the policy oh. of Joe Biden and Secretary Mayorkas, which is why we impeached Secretary Mayorkas in the House, and hopefully the Senate will move forward uh, with removal proceedings and a trial over there soon. Yeah, we're going to see if that happens this upcoming week. Uh, Congressman, we'll be watching. Great to see you this weekend. Thank you, sir. Hey, Sean Hannity. I had to blink that last one out, but man, this is ridiculous, you guys. 
ridiculous. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel. I love you guys. I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life. Pay raises, salary increases, bonuses, more happiness, joy, more time to spend with your loved ones. Again, more opportunities for all you guys. And that you get to live the life that you deserve. We live in a very, very fast time travel, y'all. A very, very fast time travel. So I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life. And y'all spread that love. And I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. Peace and love, y'all.